We're learning more tonight about the scope of a tragedy in the far north. A helicopter crash killed three men. The pilot, the commanding officer of the Canadian Coast Guard ship Amundsen, and ICE expert Klaus Hochheim. He had recently made important advancements in his research that may now be lost. Margo McDermott has the story. Scientists on the Amundsen were excited about all the ice they were seeing this year, but now the research is on hold. Picture on the right here is Dave Barber was a close friend of scientist Klaus Hockheim. He says Hockheim's wide knowledge of Arctic ice was crucial. He was an expert on how climate change is causing ice to shrink in Hudson Bay, affecting everything. He'd made big inroads in his understanding of that just before he died. There is a, a serious hole and a serious gap in our uh, capabilities as scientists in Canada to move forward. Hawkeye was on this helicopter with pilot Danielle Dubé and ship captain Mark Thibault when it crashed into the Northwest Passage this week. Klaus was very much a believer in being in the field, a sort of grounds, uh, you know, boots on the ground kind of guy. Barber says Hawkeye's depth of knowledge is irreplaceable, and for Barber, it's personal. He just handed over the leadership of the research team to Hawkeye. You could say it could have been me on that uh, helicopter, or you could have said it should have been me. Tragically, it's not the first loss to Canada's Arctic research community. Two years ago, Martin Bergman died in a plane crash near Resolute Bay. He headed the polar group that supports international science. They were making their way. Now the group that sponsored this year's expedition may turn the scientific voyage into a salvage trip. The Amundsen could return to the crash site. The icebreaker has unique underwater equipment to help look for the helicopter on the bottom of the ocean. The scientists on board made it clear that if there is uh, a possibility for the ship to go salvage or find uh, answers, that should be the priority. Meanwhile, Dave Barber is doing some soul searching over the steep price we pay for Arctic science. We cannot not go to the Arctic. We have to be there. We have to be on the ground. We have to conduct this research right where it happens. All of us know that that puts us in harm's way. Margaret McDermott, CBC News. Ottawa.